Am I the asshole for refusing to have a fully child-free wedding? So I recently proposed to my long-term girlfriend, and we are planning for a wedding in summer next year, everything is still very early stages. My fiancé has expressed that she wants a child-free wedding, which I am all down for but I want to make one expectation, my son, I had him from a previous relationship and we have evenly split custody of him. Until now my fiancé has gotten along great with him, we've had days out as a family, she's gone to see his games he plays ice hockey and she's even taken him out on fun days just the two of them. I brought up that I wanted to make an exception to the no kids rule for my son, she shot the idea down straight away and said that she didn't want anyone under 16 there as she doesn't want to feel like she or anyone else has to babysit on her special day. I told her that no one would have to babysit him, he's 15 and she knows he's well behaved and a generally quiet kid. She then changed her reasoning and asked why I wanted my old family and life on the day I was supposed to making a commitment to her and our new family, I told her while I will be making a commitment to her, my son will still very much be my son and my family. She then equated it to wanting my ex at our wedding, which I do not and never asked. I told her that I don't care about the aesthetics of the wedding, and that she can pick everything else, the food, the aesthetic, the music, the dress, but all I want is my family at the wedding my parents, my sisters and my son, that is my only ultimatum when it comes to our wedding. She started calling me controlling by giving me an ultimatum and said I had initially agreed to a child free wedding and now am gaslighting her. I said we can have a mainly child free wedding, but with this one exception, an expectation that guests can't even complain about being unfair since the only child is the son of the groom. She called me a dick and is now not talking to me, I really think this is a reasonable want, but maybe I'm not seeing something, so am I the asshole? Don't marry her, obviously your son is not her priority and she probably will suggest having him live with his mother permanently. Don't do it. Well, wedding's off. Suggest you move on, you've just caught a glimpse of the rest of your life otherwise. Major red flags on her insults. Natar. Do not I repeat do not marry this woman she's going to want you to dump your son the moment she gets pregnant. She disgusting. Why on earth are you still considering marrying a woman who is treating your son like this? You if you marry this woman. Your poor kid. As a general rule, I recommend against marrying Disney villains. You should probably rethink this relationship, quickly. Run, don't walk, away from this relationship now. That's your kid. A good partner would never ask you to exclude your own child from something as big as this. Get out now. Not the asshole at all. Kinda disturbing she's so rigid about your son being there. He's 15 not 5 so it's not like he can't conduct himself. It's your wedding too. I'd I wouldn't be able to budge on this. Not the asshole run for the hills and don't look back. She literally called him your old family. You can't marry someone who wants to separate you from your son. Run. Away. Now. She doesn't want your son as part of your married life. She is showing you who she is. Tell fiancé thank you for showing me who you really are. I am grateful this happened before the wedding. Since nothing in the world is more important than my son, I think it's best we part ways now. I'd like my ring back and I'll send you your stuff. If you marry her you will be choosing her over your child. It is that black and white. How can you even still want to marry this person? Not the asshole. You would be an out to your son if you continue on with this marriage relationship. The audacity of her calling you controlling while demanding you exclude your own son from your wedding this is not a good woman. Not the asshole but why are you marrying a woman who is making it clear as day that she absolutely hates your son? You if you let your new fiancé eliminate your son from your life as she's clearly trying to do that. Not the asshole. What she's saying is extremely concerning. Your son should be 100 part of this new family. 
Clearly she doesn't see him that way and that's a massive problem. Of course your son should be there and this is definitely a hill to die on. Red flag. Major Red. She thinks your son is part of your old life. That's not good. Sorry. Damn she's gaslighting and controlling. Clearly jealous too. Never too late to pull the plug on this one. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. JFC this woman doesn't want your own son at your wedding? Oh well well. Tell her she can go and do a ceremony by herself. How will your life look like if she isn't ready to compromise at all and is voluntarily excluding your own child? Not the asshole. Not the asshole but reevaluate this relationship. If she feels like you should make it commitment to your new family, then ask her point blank what your son's role is in that. She says 16, how long until your son turns 16 can the day be pushed until then? Not the asshole, she is not your new family and so you have to get rid of the old. Your son is your family, always. Sounds a lot like she was planning to try and stop him being around after the wedding. Not the asshole. It's unreasonable for your son to not be allowed to your wedding. It seems she is weirdly insecure about your son. Run, man running. Not the asshole if my fiancé would bring this like this the wedding would be over in a second not even arguing about it the sheer thought is huge red flag he is your blood and will remembers this the rest of his life. Dot but maybe I'm not seeing something the big red flag waving in front of you. Not the asshole but you will be if you stay in this relationship. Not the asshole. She's showing you who she really is. Listen. Triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post, triangular flag on post. Wow, she said the quiet part out loud. Your old family. So just forget you have a son? No 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 no. Hell no. Don't marry her, just don't. Not the asshole. Calling your child your old family is enough to call off the wedding. Not the asshole. I mean I wouldn't think teenage offspring of the bride or groom factor into child free when it comes to wedding. Until now my fiancé has gotten along great with him. Right until she showed her true colors. Run, Forrest, run. Your son deserves better. And you too. Not the asshole. But I know somebody else who is in your household who is. Die on this hill, op. I, don't marry her. Your child isn't your old life and this isn't about a child-free wedding. She wants you to pretend he doesn't exist. That's horrible. Not the asshole. Your child should of course be an exception I can't imagine getting married without my kid. I would probably bail on that wedding honestly. Not the asshole. Your son is 15 and. She didn't want anyone under 16. Big red flag. Why 16 and not 18 or 21? You should spend this day with your son. Your fiancé can decide whether you spend it at the wedding or at home. This is the perfect time to get away from this person. Definitely not the asshole but I hope and pray that you are seriously reevaluating your relationship with her.